Wait, nation, what's going on? Shark Gaming here, back with another video. And in today's video, I know I haven't done a vlog in a very, very long while, but it's not really my fault. Let's just blame school and life and everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying out something new. I'm actually vlogging with my back camera, not my front camera. So just let me know if I'm doing it properly, or at least I'll be checking it while I'm editing it, actually. So, Brianna said that she wanted to go to some. I don't know, some sushi place. So I was supposed to go get some sushi with her. I'm gonna change my shirt and I have all my Crocs right now, so I'm gonna change that. Or I might just wear the Crocs, I don't know as yet. So, you got, I don't know, you guys will see me on the way there, or at least you guys will see her. So let's just see what happens. Let's go, yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Look who's here and look who's like, like two hours late. I'm 19 minutes late. That's, That's like not two that hours. bad. You live closer than me. So, I was sleeping. Alright, so what's the plan for today? Guys, we're gonna have sushi. Mike is gonna have sushi for the first time. Yeah, I'm pretty sushi sure. doesn't die. Pretty sure it's gonna taste trash, but okay. It's not bad, guys. Are you sushi lovers? Comment down below. Are they ever gonna see this video? Yeah, they are. I'm serious. I'm gonna drop this. Okay. I'm gonna drop this. I should look cute today. I'm a salmon girl. What? You know my last name is salmon. Like? Right? Yeah. What seafood do you like? Shrimp. He's not gonna have anything shrimp. Alright, we're not having anything shrimp related. But according to her, according to her, we're gonna try a new restaurant every week. Or almost every single week. <laughs> Guys, like up the video. Yeah, so we can. <laughs> she's paying Watch though. The ads. She's paying. This is. <laughs> what you said this is no? Alright, so we're having the spicy king salmon. That's this one. Teriyaki chicken. Yeah. California. Sure. Well, so what's, the, what's those things over there? Eel sauce, soy sauce. Honestly, I'm not a big chocolate. Yeah. So we're gonna start. Oh, but I'm not gonna hear me. Let's start with the basics of teriyaki I don't honestly know. Put them both in the same. Bro, if I drop this, you That's not. Oh my god, put it in tea. Put it back in the plate and try again.
this and I must say it wasn't a bad experience she's driving right now you know what I'm saying I'm a passenger princess <laughs> have a say <laughs> alright you good after this yeah. yeah so excuse the lighting obviously it's night time and the lighting is poor but, and it's the front cam can you like do a better angle like that is not my cutest Oh, see the flash here. <laughs> it looks so short. I am short. That's not drum tall. How tall are you? Five feet. And a half. So I'm almost like four. <laughs> so quick aftermath now, right? I actually lost a good amount of footage because I thought that I was recording with the front camera, but I was actually recording with the back camera. So the audio is there, but I'm actually not in the frame. So I didn't really think that you guys would have enjoyed actually watching that. So I decided to just do it over, right? Brianna was there as well, but she's not here right now because I'm at home. So it doesn't make any sense that I wait to see her again later in the week just to make it over. So I'm going to make it over now. So basically, we were saying that we tried three things. That was the salmon. We tried the spicy salmon thing. We tried the California something. I'll show you guys it on the menu. Uh, we tried the teriyaki chicken. In my opinion, the teriyaki chicken was like a 9 or maybe a 10 out of 10. And then the California one was like a 8.5, even 9 on a good day. But the the spicy salmon one was probably about a 7, 6.5. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like it wasn't spicy. I like spicy things. When I added the wasabi to it, it tasted amazing. But it's because of the wasabi, not because of the salmon. You know what I'm saying? But it was pretty good. Brianna was also saying that she's tried other ones where it was like wrapped in seaweed, but she don't like the seaweed. She like it when it's wrapped in rice. So the rice actually gave it that extra touch. It gave that extra flavor. So all in all, all of that came up to probably eight grand. You know what I'm saying? The salmon one was obviously the most expensive one. It was like 3,200. Uh, the, the California one was 1,500. And the other one was like, I don't know, 2,000 something. So it's like... Yeah. It's a decent one. I actually thought that it was going to be expensive, but it wasn't that expensive. And we're actually going to go back again. The reason why we never bought anything else is because we didn't really know if I was going to even like the sushi in the first place. So we just tried something small per se. Even though what happens is that I think, don't quote me on it, but I think it's one big roll and they cut it up and it's like, it's either 12 or 6. I think it was 6. No, it must be 12. I don't know. It was a decent amount of rolls. Maybe it was 8 of them. I don't know. I can't count. I don't know how much it was. I don't want to mislead you guys. But it was at least 6. So you have 6 of each or at least 8 of each. 8 times 3 is 24. So you know that there was a lot of things to eat. If, even if it was 3, even if it was 6, then it was 18. It's still a lot of sushi rolls to eat. And I actually did feel full. I don't know how, but it was actually very filling. And I was actually thinking that, oh, you know, we're going to need more food. But we didn't really need that much food. The most you probably need is probably a drink, you know, because maybe things become a, hard, a bit hard to swallow, but that's cool. But apart from that, it was actually very good. We actually want to go back, but because we said that we're going to go to like a different restaurant every single week. So we might, I don't know. I don't know as yet, but we might do some other things. We might go some other places and explore some other restaurants just to taste. You know, I'm a very basic person, so I'll go for pasta. I ain't even going to lie to you. I'll go for pasta. You know what I'm saying? My friend Matthew told me that like, I have to stop buying fries and chicken. So we're definitely buying pasta now. I am a basic ass nigga. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it real with you. That's what I look at. That's my go-to now. Chicken Alfredo pasta. I don't know why, but I actually prefer the chicken Alfredo to the shrimp Alfredo. Even though when I get the chance to mix it, I do mix it because, you know, why not? You know, you don't have to restaurant already, some might as well. But comment down below what you guys like. And comment down below if you guys are actually going to go there. I actually feel like the prices are pretty decent. And the service is good. I can give, like, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest, I think the service from the people at Sora was very, very good. But I realized that, one, the place is a bit small. I think it's been renovated. That's why you can't really go inside. But the outside view is decent. But you don't really get to, like, I think you have to, like, reserve your spaces if it's, like, more than two persons. Because, like, Brian and I had to go to, like, the bar. Like, we were on the bar area, which we were okay with, you know what I'm saying? But what if you were going, like, a group of people? Then more than likely you wouldn't have had like a space on that specific night. So if you're going to Sora and you're planning to go with like your friends, try to go in groups or try to reserve the group. So, you know, reserve a group of like six or whatever the case may be. But the view is very good and the service is very good. The music is very good. The vibe is very good. So I'd give the overall experience maybe a nine. Sora to me is very good. You know what I'm saying? Especially for somebody who didn't really have any experience with sushi before and don't really like sushi. 
I would actually go back just to try the sushi just because of how good the service was or just because of how good the food was. And I actually have a few other things on there that I want to try. So Sora to me was a hit. Hopefully the next restaurant that we decide to go or the next one that we choose is actually quite decent as well. <laughs>